Hi everyone, this is Kamur. Apologies for my voice, which is very bad today. I have a very bad cold. But uh, artificial intelligence uh, seems to be taking over the world nowadays, right? And the market is growing like crazy. Chat GPT, after it came out in late 2022, suddenly AI became very mainstream. Everybody from content creators to big tech, la, they are pushing the AI hype train. And if you work in a company in tech, then you can expect it to adopt AI in some form or the other in the coming years. The market is absolutely crazy. You can see the world, it's like expected to become a trillion dollar industry in just a few years. I think it already is, by the way. So the economy, AI economy is absolutely insane right now. And it's like uh, growing at a crazy rate also, like 30, 40% every year by 2030. Almost every country is expected to adopt AI and the market is very, very good. So, but one topic which i feel is not getting enough information which is ai application attacks you know ai if you've been to this channel before you know i talk a lot, lot about ai risks also and ai applications they're introducing new types of risks which a lot of cyber security teams are not aware of you know just like <clears throat> application security was a blind spot to traditional security a few decades ago like nobody knew about sql injections cross-site scripting AI targeted attacks and AI application attacks are flying under the radar. And I, that's the reason I wanted to make this video, just to talk about those attacks and how they can really compromise your AI based applications. So if you're new here guys, welcome to my channel, the cloud security guy. My name is Tamir and I talk about like things like cloud security, artificial intelligence and general cyber security career advice. Like I said, sorry for the voice, <laughs> but I have a bad cold, but I still wanted to make this video and today i'm going to focus on this topic which is ai based attacks which i haven't talked about a lot so if you are new here please do like and subscribe to this channel that will really help the channel to grow like and share this video so when we talk about ai application attacks let's talk a bit about machine learning you know uh, how machine learning works because that is how you will understand how the risks happen so when you talk about machine learning this is how it looks like right ai based attacks they target how machine learning works and machine learning is the engine that drives AI and gives it that magical ability to think like human beings, just like human beings learn from experience, right? We have machine learning models. They are provided data, right? The algorithm tries to make sense of that data and then they make predictions, you know, like human beings, they try to make predictions. Those predictions are checked against the actual result and they see if it's right or not. And then it goes back. So you keep on refining the model. Initially, the model may make mistakes which are checked against actual data and we use it to fine tune it more and more. The more data that you provide a model, the more accurate it becomes over time. So, but take a look at this diagram. How would you assess the security of this machine learning model? Are you gonna scan the underlying infrastructure? Maybe it's in cloud like Azure or AWS or the security of the API, all are good actions, you know, to take from a risk perspective. But what about the unique attacks that take place against AI? Most attackers want to compromise machine learning and AI applications and tamper with the decision making process or find out what data is used to train them. How would you find out if the model was vulnerable or not? So that, that's what I wanted to talk about. These, these AI application attacks, which are very new and which are targeting AI applications. So let's take a look at a few of them and how they can really like mess up your AI applications. You know, the number one is evasion. Evasion attacks, like the name says, they are attempts to bypass or evade machine learning models by attackers. And they are usually done by making very, very small changes to the data. Small things that human beings will not look at, they can result in a machine learning model being completely fooled. Like a facial recognition system, you know, you can make small changes and it will recognize you. Or maybe an attacker could bypass the machine learning model by uh, making small changes to malware. And the machine learning model will think it's a legitimate software, right? or make you make a self-driving car think that uh, a tree is like an open road. So the tree will just go and crash into the car. Uh, the car will just go cr crash into the tree. You know, these sort of things. This is called evasion, basically tricking the machine learning model. And I'm gonna talk about how we can protect against those things. The second one is inference. Inference is making the machine learning model give up its data, you know, how it works. It's, it's another way of tricking the model and it's a way of getting the model to disclose how it works, what data was used to train it. 
machine learning models are typically used in very, very sensitive industries like hospitals, financial institutions, law enforcement. And you can use it to get the data. You can actually find out how this model is working, what data was used, you know. And like I said, it can be highly dangerous, especially against models used in sensitive industries. So the most, you know, just like for web applications, you say sanitize the output, make sure that the application does not give away too much information. Same way you have to make machine learning models, sanitize what they are giving away and not allow attackers to gain too much information. You try to provide some summarized or sanitized responses so that attackers cannot find out how the machine learning model is working. And the third is poisoning. Poisoning is like, you can think of like ransomware, you know, ransomware is a nightmare for companies when, when attackers try to pollute the data. Similarly, data is the livelihood of uh, like uh, machine learning models and attackers can target them and pollute them. By polluting this data, the attackers can make the machine learning model reach incorrect decisions, you know. How about maybe they add a malware to the data that was used to train an anti-malware solution so that the solution will not think that that data is malicious. So you have to make sure that the data which is being used to train that machine learning model, it's correct right from the start. And you have to strictly check it to make sure it, it's not being tampered with, right? These are the things you have to make sure. Whenever a machine learning model is being trained, you have to test it to make sure it's reaching the correct decisions. So how do you do a go about it? How to implement AI-based security? You know, it doesn't happen magically or in a vacuum, right? So uh, a few other tips which I'm going to talk about. First is training. You, you need to tell your team, your cybersecurity team, about these attacks and they need to be upskilled. We don't have like... AI application firewalls right now, like web application firewalls. So it's very important for you to know. So free, I just want to mention my own book. I've written a complete book about this, which you can take a look. So this is what I wanted to like, because I saw that there was not enough awareness and I've written a complete book about this, how to spread knowledge and what are the types of attacks. So you can check that out also. The next one is threat modeling because threat modeling is very, very important. You need to assess the risks right from the start. Not if companies do this. Now that you have a knowledge, you can start threat modeling and incorporate controls for these new type of attacks right from the start. That's a very, very important thing to do. And lastly, testing. Testing is again, a very, very important thing to do. The first step to protect against AI attacks, you need to find out if your model is vulnerable or not, right? Just like you do penetration testing. AI-based security testing needs to happen. You can find out whether evasion attacks can happen, uh, whether data poisoning can happen, whether inference can happening. There are many, many tools, you know, like Matri Atlas and uh, the one this library is mentioned, SecML. It's a library for secure and explainable machine learning. It has a lot of open source Python library for security evaluation of machine learning algorithms. So you can take a look at that. And you can take a look at other like uh, frameworks which are already there. But it's very, very important to do testing of your machine learning models, okay? Uh, your maybe your SIM solutions can they detect if an attacker is scanning a machine learning model API? You know you have to look at it from these sort of things which will come out of awareness, come out of threat modeling. So this is what I wanted to talk about, guys. This is a very very big topic. I can talk about all day, but AI is here, is here to stay. You need to find out what are the new risks and start upskilling yourself right now. Otherwise, it's going to be the same thing which happened earlier with web applications, and you're going to find out your applications are being compromised. I hope you found this video useful, guys. Please do like and subscribe to this channel. <laughs> Sorry for my voice again. It's very, very bad this week. Thanks and take care.